What is double Mabel coverage? What's the purpose of it and how do you use it in Madden on the defensive side of the ball? Well, I'm glad that you asked the question. We're going to answer it for you in this video. And we're going to be doing so out of the 46 playbook. We're taking a look at the 3-3 Cub formation. If you want to get my entire 3-3 defensive ebook or 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, Everything's in the Patreon. Out of the 4-6 playbook, you can run a lot of different defenses. Um, the 3-3, the 3-3 Cub, Dollar, Big Nickel, Nickel over G, uh, even Quarter, we're working on some stuff out of that. So again, if you want to get access to all of those different defenses, everything's in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all of our Madden 23 tips or uh, offensive and defensive eBooks. Now, with that being said, I want to talk today about Mabel coverage, what it is, why it is important that you understand what it is, and how you can utilize it. So when somebody says they are Mabeling one side or they're double Mabeling, what does that mean? And really it's a concept that kind of uh, got its start here in the nickel 3-3 Cub. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do in this formation is we are gonna come out in 3-3 and audible down into, uh, into this formation. I'm gonna go ahead and set some adjustments real quick. And real quick, one other little tip for this is if you are gonna be running this defense, I personally really, really recommend that you go ahead and put the safety nickelback package on your field um, if you are wanting to run this specific defense. And the main reason why uh, I like to suggest that to people is because it's going to give you much better adjustments for uh, the kind of kind of style that we're going to be running uh, in this. So again, just make sure that you're rocking that safety uh, safety nickelback package right here and then double Mabel so uh, coaching adjustments we're not gonna worry about the zone drops we're gonna get to that in a second but you're just gonna put your zone coverage on match and really this started out of cover two so I'm gonna audible down to cover two so this is a defense that started to gain in popularity um, specifically in Madden's where gun bunch was super super good and it was the reason why gun bunch was so good is because you could run a C route and you could run a table route like this and this would be very difficult uh, to defend out of some type of cover two so what you'll see here is like the C route would kind of get in a soft spot over the top of the cloud and then the flat route the, the the corner strike this is kind of an old uh old concept but still really good uh the corner strike concept where we're going to try to basically attack the deep sidelines on both sides of the field simultaneously and so if they were to take that c route then we could check down to our running back and it was really hard to stop so one of the ways that people would stop this is by doing what used to be called double flatting which they will basically say okay we're going to put this guy into a hard flat we're going to put this guy into a cloud flat and then we're going to kind of bracket that with either a deep half on this side of the field or we're just going to flat out man him up and what you'll notice is this is going to do a little bit better of a job at taking away some of those key concepts that are so good from corner strike, right? So double flatting or double Mabeling. And it, it, it kind of became uh, Mabel. It actually used to be a play in Madden that was called Cover 3 Mabel. And basically what Cover 3 Mabel would do is it would look something like this. We would have this player right here in a, uh, a curl flat zone. And then we'd have this player in a hard flat zone. So you had a curl flat to take away the corner. And then you had a hard flat to take away the underneath route. And so if they were to run some type of you know corner strike setup here, what you would do is you would cloud or uh, maple one side and then on the opposite side you could double flat for example um, or you could bracket that and so what you'd see is something like this to stop some of these sideline concepts right that was the original purpose of double maple in madden 21 um, RG, a former competitive player, RG, instituted this idea of zone drops into Madden where you could actually control uh, where your, how, how deep your zones went uh, to a point. And so what that looks like is it looks like something like this. If you go to your coaching adjustments, you can control how deep your zones are going to drop. That's why they're called zone drops, right? So if I want my hook curls to play at a five yard depth and stop things like drags or uh, hitches or stuff like that, I could tell them to do that. What people started to figure out is they can put their flats at about 25 and their curl flats at either zero or five. Uh, it, this could vary a little bit. So it could be 30 and 10. It could be 20 uh, and zero. It could be 25 and five, right? There's different combinations based off of the tendencies and the routes of the formation you're playing against. 
But this created a whole new level of double flatting. And so what would happen is now we would get into this process called double mabling, where we would come out into a cover two defense. We would just simply put both of our outside linebackers in purple zones, and then we would create effectively um, a double Mabel coverage shell. Now, what you're seeing in this year's game is you're seeing people put even those thirds over the top, and this really brackets the sideline well. Now, if you just look at this picture here, what's open? Well, the middle of the field is the thing that gets left open in double Mabel coverages. That's why we see people go to plays like verticals or they do stuff like this, where it's hard for the user to defend everything in that, uh, in that middle of the field section. So this kind of leads me to my big point about double Mabel coverage and how you can utilize it to make your defense better. Understand what the purpose of the Mabel concept is. The Mabel concept, the primary purpose of it is to stop sideline flood routes. So for example, if I was to create a cover three shell here on the left side and they were to run a streak, a corner route and a flat route, the corner route would actually still burn that cover three coverage over here and I could throw that with a lot of consistency. However, if I ran that exact same defense that I just showed you, um, but we just happen to be over here on the right side hash mark, right? I don't have a, a light blue or a flat zone uh, over there and we run the corner strike concept like this, you are gonna notice that this outside third defender is going to play really pretty well um, against that. And so the purpose of Mabel coverage is when your outside third zones keep getting sucked back in zone coverage and people are throwing corner routes and crossing routes into that little spot and into that little spot. And so what I like to tell people this year specifically is only Mabel the short side of the field, especially if you're playing tight or bunch. So if I'm playing tight or bunch or anything like that, go ahead and we're gonna play Mabel coverage. We're gonna Mabel and roll. We're gonna combine a Mabel concept and a roll coverage to take away the right sideline and to take away the left sideline and then also have some help in the middle of the field. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna third my, um, my solo wide receiver side corner. I'm gonna middle third the safety. I am then going to put an outside third um, over here on the bunch side, on the short side of the field. You could also say put him in a half, but I think an outside third. And then we're going to purple both linebackers and blitz our user. So now if you look at this, we've got a Mabel concept to the right side of the screen. We also have this vertical hook defender. Now this vertical hook defender is very versatile. Uh, if we wanted to, we could invert this. We could also go ahead and send four if we wanted to do that. Um, we could man this guy up on the tight end. We could man this guy up on the slot, right? We could put him in a vert, whatever we want to do. But you see here, this is going to really uh, cover that right side of the field well. And then even if they try to attack us, maybe maybe they run a route concept like this, for example. This is a pretty good concept, um, specifically if you think you're gonna get double Mabel. Well, now I know, okay, flat, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about anything vertical. And now I can just sit in the middle of the field and you see how by combining roll coverage and Mabel coverage, you're able to really funnel your opponent to throw into the hard spaces of the field. And the hard spaces of the field to throw in is the spaces that you can easily cover with your user, which is essentially this box right in here from about, really from this, this uh, right tackle to the left tackle and about 10 yards of range. That's where your user can really do a lot of damage. And when you combine roll coverage and Mabel coverage well, you're going to be able to eliminate and force them in funnel routes into the middle of the field, which is where your user is. I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you wanna learn more about this concept or just take your game to the next level in general, I'd really encourage you to check out our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, as well as all of the updates uh, to those eBooks, which we've dropped a ton of updates recently in the Patreon.